Hello again, fellow gears. What's up? It's Maticon bringing you another tutorial. Uh, this one has been requested by a few people that um, I make a list or a tutorial on the class cards that I bring going into speedruns. Um, starting out with the scouts, uh, I just want to say you should bring the cards you feel most comfortable with and that you genuinely feel are the best for that speedrun. On um, that being said, starting out with scout, it's fairly universal. You have your deposit bonus, your health boost, your speed boost, and pickup distance. The card that is up for interpretation to swap out um, is your second health card. Now, I'm a dodge guy. I, it took me a long time to convert from health regen to dodge. Um, but once I did, I uh, fell in love with it. So um, I will bring dodge on all the speedruns that I do, uh, with the exception of two. The garage and the winery spawn version of reclaimed and reclaimed wind flare because you are so close to the spawn right by the door and all you really do is roll in um these two maps for the garage winery spawns i bring health regen instead of dodge but uh other than you know again reclaim reclaim wind flare um i'm dodge all the way <laughs> so but uh, again bring what you are most comfortable with and what you feel genuinely are the best cards for that run uh, for sure moving right along uh, we have the sniper class um, this one is pretty much universal doesn't change much for speed runs at all um, I'll bring in uh, radar ping called shot team revive magic bullet and sniper strike um, pretty much always. However, every so often, if you want to flirt with danger and have a little bit of fun uh, with with your buddies, you, um, you can take off Team Revive, put on Precision Rifle Damage, and having that card, um, your Sniper Strike hits harder, your Magic Bullet crits harder, you kill more enemies quicker, and uh, bosses definitely a lot faster as well, but uh, don't really do that very often, so it's pretty much, again, Radar Ping, Call Shot, Team Revive, Sniper Strike, Magic Bullet. Moving right along again to Soldier Class. Uh, this again is pretty universal for all speedruns. Uh, when you, you bring in uh, two soldiers, you're gonna go all nades, grenade damage, grenade capacity, grenade plants, resupply, and siphon. Uh, really the only change or variation is if you take off siphon for the Hammer of Dawn card. Now, me and my buddies, we really try not to bring the Hammer of Dawn much because uh, it is very uh, overpowered. Um, so we always will try to bring uh, Siphon on just about every speedrun that we can. But uh, again, for the Soldier, uh, Grenade Plants, Grenade Damage, Grenade Capacity, Resupply, and Siphon, or Hammer of Dawn. Here's just a brief clip on uh, Grenades, uh, how you can tell if a Soldier has a Siphon card or a non-Siphon card. Uh, the ones here on the right, it's fairly obvious, they are glowing. That is the Siphon card active on these grenades that are planted. The ones here on the left are like every other grenades, no no Siphon. Uh, so it's pretty simple to distinguish the two, but I uh, thought I'd make a short clip uh, to clear up any confusion. Moving on to the heavy class, if you're on a speedrun that calls for a heavy, uh, you're pretty much going to be on salvos as soon as you can get them for the entire game. Uh, the two main core cards of every heavy that you always want to bring is going to be the explosive launcher damage and the explosive launcher capacity. Those two are a must. Now with salvos, you also we bring heavy weapon damage and mark damage because your sniper is going to be pinging everything. And as a fifth card, I like last stand because it lets you take more damage, lets you tank more um, as you're firing your salvos. But I have buddies that prefer berserker instead of last stand. What that does is it increases your damage output um, as you're getting shot at or basically taking damage and there's a trick to the berserker for the first 30 waves you can injure yourself by shooting a salvo twice right before the wave begins take up all your damage stacked to 300 percent max damage um, that you can do and i'll have a video um, right after this uh, class tutorial showing you exactly what i mean by damaging yourself before the wave begins but uh, it is a little bit more sweaty to do it that way but it does work um, very well uh, so but again, I like Last Stand because so you can take more damage. Uh, but as I always say, uh, make it yours, put your own spin on it, make it better. Here is a clip of Berserker in action. The first 30 waves, you can injure yourself by shooting yourself twice, and then uh, unloading the full 300% Berserker extra damage into the spawn.
Moving right along to the engineer class. Uh, this class is uh, the one that's up to most interpretation, you could say. But you pretty much the staple of every speed run engineer. You're going to have a pair boost, sentry cost, and sentry capacity. These three are like the tri core that pretty much everybody uses on, on almost every speed run. Um, and then build cost you'll have as well. And the card up open for interpretation, really, that gets changed the most is the carry speed card. Um, you can switch that out um, if you're not on a big map to salvage, like I, where you spawn them all in security at the top side by the laser. I bring salvage for that. Um, but you can swap out salvage for the other thing that most people use. Other card is going to be your sentry speed, like I use for the diner taco truck spawn. So the, pretty much you'll cycle between those three. Sometimes um, you some runs you'll see someone take build cost off as well, so you can bring like salvage and sentry speed. But it's fairly rare. There's only really a couple runs that you, you do that on. Um, maybe slab for one, for instance. But pretty much you're always going to have your build cost um, and the card again uh, that you swap out the most is either sentry speed for salvage or sentry speed or salvage for carry speed on the bigger maps like Fallout and others, etc. So, um, and I have a video clip that's uh, going to show you how you can really tell in TACCOM what the engineer is bringing um, on the run uh, or on a video that you see of a tutorial of mine or someone else's so that's coming right up okay here's a short clip on how to know what the engineers bring in card wise on a speed run if you look in TACCOM you see how I have sentry capacity because it's the light blue halfway over plus look at the ammo check box there on the left of the health and everything that's the salvage indicator so that's how you know the engineers bring in salvage over here this uh, sniper legend Mike my buddy he just for this video, we have Fort Health and no concentric capacity. You don't see that extra blue line halfway through. So that's how you, in TACOM, looking at a video tutorial or uh, on a speedrun, know exactly what the engineer, you know, three or four of the cards out of five that they are bringing. Um, I, I don't really explain Fort Health too much in the previous video with the engineer build because I don't see it very much. It's pretty rare to use Fort Health on, on most speedruns. So I don't really use Fortification Health. But um, again, on all speedruns, you're going to have a pair boost, centric cost, centric capacity. And like I mentioned in the previous tutorial, you'll either have uh, build cost or salvage or sentry speed or carry speed. So hope that this helps out to uh, clear up any confusion. Um, and thanks again, Sniper Legend Mike, for helping me out. And with that, that is the breakdown of the class skill cards for speedruns. Uh, if you're new to speedruns, definitely get these cards up to level six as soon as you can. Uh, hopefully it answers some questions uh, for some of you all out there. Um, and definitely need to thank you know all my buddies that helped me with tutorials and then the gears community i mean thank you guys so much because we are so fortunate we have such a great community uh within all of you fellow gears so uh but uh, as i always say uh don't necessarily do what i tell you to do you know put your own spin on it make it yours make it better and uh enjoy it everybody thank you